Alright, this video will be an overview of the mechanical functions of the Marion 91 steam shovel model. Things run from the rear of the model where the steering engine is behind the boiler. Then up in front of the boiler there are the main hoist engine and the uh, slew engine which turn all of the, the gearing and chain drives throughout. The operator control station is up at the front and then up on the main boom is the uh, crowd engine that runs the boom with the bucket in and out. The operator at the front of the machine has six control levers. Starting at the top right is the uh, throttle control lever for the main hoist engine. Next to that is the throttle and reversing lever for the steering engine which controls the direction of the rear tracks. On the lower right is the uh, clutch lever for the uh, main hoist drum that engages the, the drum into the, uh, the gear drive on the main hoist engine. Next to that is the throttle and direction lever for the uh, slew engine which swings the boom side to side. The short lever between is the uh, engine uh, drain valves which lets condensation out of the ends of the cylinders and then on the far left is the uh, reversing gear uh, control lever. On the floor here is a uh, brake pedal for the uh, hoist drum the lever on the floor here engages the dog clutch which engages the main hoist engine to the front tracks to move the machine forward and back. And then up on the main boom on the side here is the throttle and direction lever for the uh, crowd engine up on the boom. That one would be operated by a separate operator that would be standing on the main boom. The engine running the control lever for the clutch on the hoist drum will engage the chain to raise the main bucket. Releasing that back will lower the bucket. If they wanted to hold the bucket in position up high, they could stand on the brake pedal, which would hold it and control the lowering. The next lever controls the throttle on the slew engine, which moves the uh, turntable and bucket from side to side. And here's a view of the main hoist chain cylinder with the clutch on the side. And as the lever is moved on that, you can see the piston move in and out, which engages the clutch band to move the chain. The steam for this cylinder actually comes in through the axle uh, because the piston rotates with the chain. Up on the main boom is the control lever for the crowd engine, which runs the bucket in and out. And the operator standing there also had this rope to pull, which would dump the main bucket. And when the boom went down, it would automatically close and latch that bucket by gravity. And the final function on the hoist engine is to drive the front tracks when the uh, dog clutch lever in the cab is engaged it moves the, the clutch that's down underneath on one of the gear shafts to engage the rest of the train which drives the uh, shafts going to the front tracks. The steering engine here behind the boiler drives uh, a gear train from the, the crankshaft down to a larger gear which runs on a shaft that runs up to a worm gear box that drives a screw across the front of the tracks and turn them side to side. 